Hey bees, I'm Marie from Humble Bee and Me, and today we are blending up a jar of creamy goodness for our lips. It's like a nice, warm, heated blanket, perhaps, for your mouth. The bulk of this formulation is jojoba butter, which was a gift from Voyager Soap and Candle. Jojoba butter is a pseudo butter, so it combines jojoba oil with hydrogenated vegetable oil. I chose a pseudo butter for this formulation rather than a true soft butter like mango butter or shea butter because I really didn't want this formulation to go grainy on the user throughout use. One of the reasons formulations can go grainy over time is if they are exposed to temperature fluctuations and lip products are sort of especially susceptible to being exposed to temperature fluctuations because they often get carried around in pockets so they can soften up a bit with your body heat and then cool down and you repeat that a bunch of times and you really start to increase the chances of your gorgeous silky lip butter becoming kind of lumpy as time goes by. If you'd like to learn more about graininess in body butters, I did an entire video on that earlier this year, so definitely check that out. But yeah, that's why we're using a pseudo butter in this formulation instead of a true butter. Another lovely ingredient that you'll find in this formulation that I'm quite excited about is Lansino, which you can buy at the drugstore. And a big thank you to my patron and longtime reader, Zill, for uh, teaching me about this. Lansino is highly purified and refined lanolin. It is sold as nipple cream at the drugstore. Using this highly refined lanolin instead of regular kind of smells like sheep lanolin is a very nice upgrade to lip formulations and honestly to really any formulation that uses lanolin. I am so enjoying working with this refined lanolin in products. And yeah, if you like lanolin, but you don't like the way it smells and or tastes, definitely head to your local drugstore Pop on over to the baby stuff aisle and grab yourself a tube. As always, if you'd like to learn more about this formulation, please make sure you are reading the full partner blog post linked in the description box below. But let's get started. We'll begin by combining the ingredients for our heated phase in a small custard cup. And I've chosen a custard cup rather than a beaker because it's more bowl-like shape makes it easier to get in there and stir, which is useful for this formulation. So to start with, we'll need nine grams of jojoba butter, two grams argan oil, three grams refined lanolin, 2.2 grams castor oil, three grams cerebellina, and 0.2 grams of a warm gold mica. To melt the soup, we're going to use a water bath. So I've got a small saucepan here with about half an inch or a centimeter of a half of water in the bottom of it. We'll pop our custard cup in there and then take the pan, put it on the stove over just kind of a simmer until everything has melted through. But keep in mind that the mica won't melt through. That's just gonna stay nice and shiny and yeah, see you soon. Once everything has melted, you can remove your little custard cup from your water bath. So we only have two ingredients left. We've got our vitamin E and some hyalurlip, which is a beautiful active to help make this lip butter extra moisturizing and wonderful, but we don't wanna add those until this has cooled down. You could use an ice bath for this part if you wanted to. Uh, kind of depends on how big your batch is and how patient you are. This is a pretty small batch and I'm feeling kind of patient right now. So I'm just gonna let the coolness of the countertop do the, uh, the coolant work and the ambient temperature. So I'm just gonna keep this moving, stirring with my spatula, you know, scraping around the edges of the little bowl. And uh, yeah, and we wait. I do get a lot of questions about these spatulas because they are fantastic. They're made by Norpro, sold as a jar or an icing spatula. And uh, you can find links to this fantastic spatula and other wonderful equipment that I like, including this scale, in the recent blog post I shared, uh, DIY equipment for new formulators. I'll link to that in the description box below this video. Once you've reached the point where you can draw your spatula across the bottom of the bowl and leaves a little bit of a, a line for a moment, we are going to add our cool down phase. So you'll need 0.2 grams vitamin E or tocopherol. And to learn more about this ingredient, make sure you look it up in the Humble Bee and Me Encyclopedia. And then our last ingredient is 0.4 grams hyalurlip. If you don't have this, please read the blog post. I've discussed alternatives there 
the general just is though it's uh, it's a thing that you can leave out if you really have to and that's it that is all of our ingredients so let us get this into some packaging just got these tiny little five gram jars with screw top lids. I believe I bought these from TKB Trading quite a few years ago. I bought a ton of them and I'm still working my way through them. You do want this to be in some sort of a pot jar, something with a wide mouth. You wouldn't be able to get it into a lip balm tube uh, at this point in time. And we don't want it, like we can't really have it any hotter because then it'll be too hot for the Hyler lip. And uh, it's pretty, Soft as well, a little too soft, I think, to work well in a tube anyways. Oh gosh, that silky consistency just, oh, it's so beautiful. A bit of rubbing alcohol on a paper towel is a good way to kind of degrease the outside of these if they got a little slippy, a little bit of spillage on them. So here are the finished packaged lip butters and they just need to you know, fully set up. So I've got one here that is a couple weeks old so you can see and how firm the lip butter will get because it does get quite a lot firmer than it was you know when it was poured into these little jars so here we are here's our little jar i didn't have quite enough to fill this one so it doesn't look as amazing as i wish it had um but yeah it's definitely a sort of a thicker spreadable consistency that you can you know really kind of really slather on to your mouth for extra moisturizing goodness. And that's that. That's how you make some beautiful candlelight lip butter with hyaluronic acid and some gorgeous, rich lanolin. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and please remember to read the Full Partner blog post for more information, information about substitutions, scaling, shelf life, ingredients, all that good stuff. It's in the blog post, check it out. Thanks so much, I'll see you next time.